did not make this up, guys. Oh my god, Random what, what just like, we I don't know, are we like... <laughs> this is so cool, oh my god. So, I'm going to Comic-Con. <laughs> Do you guys know I'm a bit of a nerd? I like Star Wars, Star Trek, or maybe you don't know, but I am a bit of a nerd. Uh, I always have been. I always have been. So I was driving, and this is where billboards shockingly do work sometimes. I saw a billboard for Comic-Con here in Kansas City, and I was like, oh, I've always wanted to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> so I told Ben, my boyfriend, my partner, I don't know what to call him, my boyfriend partner, my man, he's also a nerd. And we, lo we love watching Star Trek together. And so I was like, we should go. And he was like, okay, yeah, let's go. So we got his tickets and we're dressing up because we want the full experience, right? You're supposed to dress up. So we're dressing up and I'm hoping the costume that he ordered me fits. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I just think it's hilarious. So Kylan is, has a little performance at school. They're doing the Wiz, which I think is so cute. And he actually has a solo. So that's like right before Comic-Con. So I'm gonna go to that, do mom thing, and then go to Comic-Con after. And I might actually have to wear my costume to the school because we're going right after. <laughs> Not me showing up in a Star Wars or, or Star Trek costume to my child's school. Maybe I'll wear a coat over it. <laughs> anyway, I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> Star Trek outfits. We would have been fine. That's fine. We'll be just fine. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> we. What are we. I don't know what to expect. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a fun We can be fully nerdy here. We can let all of that nerdiness out. We can let out. all of our nerdiness out. <laughs> oh, we're so excited. This is our first time coming. People really go guys. People That's went all out. Yes, that was that that was like legit. That was really legit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? What are we? I don't know if we're We don't even we, know. We don't know yet. He goes, I love it. We are not dressed up as anything. We did not make this up. No, are we like supposed to be like That is hilarious, you guys. Our costumes didn't work out. <laughs> but someone just walked past us and goes, I love it. <laughs> this is what we're wearing. Um I'm talking about light green. Um <laughs> This is so cool! Oh my god! This is this is legit! Yeah. 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 Oh no! If this thing came to life, I would I would literally pee my pants. Like, Can you imagine if, you if they were made the same car. Oh my god, it's like a boat, but it's yeah, so cool. it's called the Roadmaster. The seats in the back go like this, and you can face outside. There's all the gear in there. Ah, the Ghostbuster ride. This is like the only thing I feel like I'd want to ride in. Like this is. So cool. Oh, it's a camera. Oh, it's a video. It's a video. We're doing the whole thing. Oh, it's saying the same, same joke over again. New, yeah, new yeah. Joke? Do it again. All right, all right. Do a new joke. New joke. All right, let's see. New joke. All right, all right. so. Um, I'm not gonna think of a second one. Ah! All right. Uh, what do you call someone that uh, frequents the convention circuit but is always getting into crime? I have no idea. Con man. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Thanks so much. Okay. We're gonna go see, who is it? Adam Savage. Adam Savage. We waited in this line. This man is very animated about the line. Very. But you know what? He got the line movie. He got the movie. He does really well. Sorry, We're I'm a terrible around. vlogger right now. I'm not even showing everyone to you. Right. I could go to some far off flung place in the world where some research scientist is gathering data on bat guano. And for instance, when research. I just want to take everything. <laughs> it's like, we don't even need it, but I'm like, oh, I can't get this off. I want to take one of these. I love buffalo sauce. Oh, this one is like, Oh, there's mustard. Oh, yeah, get what we actually need, baby. What about freak condiments just makes you want to just grab everything? It's like, do I need croutons? No, but they're here. But so I'm going to yeah. take them. I'm going to take one. Oh, they have Dijon. We have Dijon? Do we need it? No. no. But like, wow, did he make it? Yeah. That's so freaking cool. We feel 
feel so inspired. Oh my god. I just want to go home and do all the things now. So Comic-Con recap. You guys, I was so overwhelmed. I just couldn't even finish vlogging the other day, but I loved it. I've always been a bit of a nerd. I've always been into that scene, but going and just seeing everyone in their comfort zone and just living their best life, it was just so cool to see that. Um, I don't know. I just, I was really inspired by it. And I was also really inspired by hearing Adam Savage talk. He was the um, host of Mythbusters. Why can I not say Mythbusters? That is so hard for me to say. Mythbusters. Anyway, he was the host of Myth Mythbusters. But his take on life and just hearing him answer the questions and just like speak was just so inspiring. You know when you hear a celebrity talk and you're like, they don't even act like a celebrity. They don't even know they're a celebrity. They're just like a normal person sharing their experience, sharing their life, being inspiring. It was just really cool. So 10 out of 10 for Comic-Con. I, I really didn't think I would like it as much as I did. This is my encouragement to you. If you are just going through it right now and you just haven't taken any time to have fun, I know it's like, oh my God, I'm stressed about stuff. Like, how am I gonna have time to have fun? Please just take an hour, two hours, whatever you have, even if it's not a whole hour, I don't even know. Just go do something fun, anything. Go to the park. It doesn't have to be expensive. Go get yourself an ice cream cone. Just go do something fun for you today. So I'm picking Audrey up from school and then I think I'm gonna take her to get a little treat at this little French bakery. I love the fact that she gets out of school. She gets out of school like two hours earlier than the boys. I know it's weird, it's middle school versus elementary, but she also goes earlier than they do too. She goes like a whole hour before they go. But um, it's nice because I can have some one-on-one -on -one time with her before I get the boys. And we like going to do little things. Sometimes she helps me with projects that I have. Like there was one time I picked her up from school and I was like, oh, I have to go film this um, partnership thing. And you don't have to do it. You, you know, you can just do your thing. You can just chill. And she was like, mom, I'd love to help. And she actually helped me film a bunch of stuff. And it was really sweet. So um, I'm excited for that. She also has an orchestra concert tonight, you guys. I don't think she'll mind me telling you you this um yeah so update audrey plays bass she plays upright bass and she has a concert tonight her first concert and i'm i'm gonna work hard not to cry you guys i any of you who've been here a while know i'm a music nerd so i play piano flute although i'm really rusty with flute but my dad he is the one that was super musically inclined he played violin oboe saxophone piano he's the one that taught me piano he literally played everything violin and so part of me is feeling a little emotional because I know how much he would absolutely love to be here he would be losing his mind right now um, to watch his grandchild in an orchestra concert he was also a music teacher so this is like his scene he and my dad's birthday was on Sunday so I'm still feeling a little emotional and I'm just like oh my gosh the hard part about losing someone is knowing that they're missing out on things that would have been epic. Um, so anyway, excited, bittersweet. It's going to be beautiful, exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited for her. She's such a cutie bear. We got her whole outfit planned out and everything. So it's going to be a good day. So this is one of my favorite little spots in Kansas City. It's the cutest little bakery. And of course, I had to take Audrey because I don't know. I just love a vibe. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're ever in the city, be sure to check it out. This is me being an extra mom. Yes, I did make reserve signs for the orchestra concert because they were not letting us in until 10 minutes before and sure as heck was not gonna have a bad seat. So I saved some seats and yes, girlfriend did amazing. This is the only clip I got, but she did so good. So story time. <laughs> Those of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know this whole story, you already know everything. You guys actually find out things before everyone else. I was trying to get Monday's vlog up this past Monday and it was super late at night. I do a lot during the day. I Not only am I creating content for my own stuff, but I also run social for some other clients. Um, I do my coaching sessions, so I have a really packed full schedule. So editing the vlog sort of happens when it happens sometimes and a lot of times it's at night. So I put the kids to bed and I was laying on the couch and I was really, 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 really tired. But I was like, I want to get this done. I'm basically finished. I just need to do the thumbnail. Well, the next thing I know, I wake up. Is he talking to me? There's someone here fixing my garage. Hold on. So anyway, I'm editing the vlog. I wake up and I look down and my laptop is sideways on the ground, on the floor. And the screen is wavy. It's like cracked. And I'm just like, 
like half asleep, but then like instantly freaking out. So I grabbed my computer, I turned it on, turned it off. I'm just like, maybe, maybe something. I mean, at this point I didn't even notice it. The crack, the screen was cracked. I just thought like maybe because it was sideways, like something happened. I start freaking out, like legitimately freaking out because you guys, this laptop is my life. Like I run multiple businesses out of it. I do have one backup computer, but it's really old. You know how that is. Like your old backup, it's like not, it's yeah. So this is it. And then I'm an idiot. And of course I didn't back anything up because I'm dumb like that. Okay, I'm not an idiot. I should not call myself dumb. I'm not an idiot. I'm not dumb. I just don't pay attention to things like that, that I should. So anyway, long story short, it was 2 a.m. I'm crying hysterically and I'm just like, I need support right now. This is so, so awful. So I call my amazing boyfriend, partner, Normally I would not at 2 a.m., but it was just one of those times and I knew he would want me to call him because he's a sweetheart like that. So I call him and of course he's calm. He's like, sweetheart, it's gonna be okay. Just calm down. Like, the amazing man that he is, he, he like comes over with his monitor and his backup drives and all his stuff. And he like comes and helps me with my computer to back everything up. Cause at that time we still, I guess we didn't realize it was just a screen. Like I was just freaking out so badly that it was hard to even deduce what was wrong with the computer. But it turned out that it was just the screen, not just, but the screen was cracked. And so he's like, I'm pretty sure you're good, but let's back everything up. And so he had his his uh, monitor and all his cords and everything at 2.30 in the morning. And so he's like, let's back everything up. And then he was like, do you have Apple Care?" And I was so distraught. I was like, I don't even know. And I was like falling on the ground, just like, ah. He just like typed something in and like looked it up. And he was like, sweetheart, you have Apple Care." I was like, I do? And he was like, yeah, so I think you're gonna be okay. You just take this in and um, they'll, you know, they should be able to fix it just fine. And he was right. I have Apple Care. Thank God. If you don't have Apple Care, this is your sign. And no, I'm not sponsored by Apple, but this is your sign, you guys, because do you want to know how much my screen would have been if I didn't have Apple Care? 637, no, 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 $698. That's how much it would have been to fix my screen. But thankfully, because I have Apple Care, it's only 99. So, a really interesting quote I heard in regards to mistakes, instead of beating yourself up when you make a mistake and making yourself feel awful, just remind yourself that mistakes are an opportunity be to become more self-aware. So now I am more self-aware that I need to just go the F to sleep when I'm tired instead of trying to power through and I just need to go to sleep. Also, close your laptop. Close your laptop when you're not using it. Even if you feel like you're falling asleep, just close your laptop. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Okay, I just picked up my computer from the Apple store <gasps> and I opened it up you guys and everything's fine. Everything's good. There's like, it all popped back up just where I left off. So I guess I didn't need to freak out about backing everything up because it was fine. But you know what? You live, you learn. You live, you learn. I will guard this with my life now. Also, I should probably get like an actual cover. Also, they cleaned it. It's so, everything is so clean. Oh, I'm so happy you guys. Someone's on someone on Instagram DM me and they were like you live an actual sitcom like your life is a sitcom And I think that it is I sometimes feel like I am in a sitcom and I don't know if that's normal, but that's my life <laughs> Cheers to another episode In my life of craziness. So I am headed to get a facial today at a place um, Here in KC called face foundry They're opening up and they invited me to come have a facial and I'm getting the royal treatment So I'm so excited to go do that. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit later. My skin feels brand new. Oh my goodness. Why am I yelling? Um, yeah, that was amazing. My skin is absolutely glowing. Also, don't feel bad treating yourself and pampering yourself. Self-care is so important. I feel like we throw the word self-care around, but truly caring for yourself is something that takes a lifetime to learn. It's so important. No one else is going to care for you in the way that you can care for yourself. I mean, obviously you have friends and partners and all the people that support you, but ultimately it is up to you to care deeply for yourself. Anyway, I'm, I'm really loving it. I have no makeup on right now. My skin just feels like a bear. Beautiful. What am I saying? I don't even know. Also, I need to go. I have a coaching session with one of you in like 45 minutes, so I need to get my butt home. Okay, so I wanted to chit chat a little bit about this trip. So I feel like I was so excited I didn't really explain everything super well. So the first part of this process is gauging interest. So you filling out the survey is just basically saying, hey, I'm interested in going on this trip 
and here's my take. I've gotten several questions about like, oh, if I fill out the survey, is that automatically sign me up? Not at all. It's just us gauging how many people are interested and if we can even go because we need at least 100 of you interested in order to go. I'll be totally honest. I need at least 100 of you to fill out the survey for us to even plan a trip. So if you're one of those people who you're like, oh, maybe, but I'm not sure of all the details or I really want to go, but I don't know for sure, go ahead and fill it out um, so that we can get the ball rolling. And yeah, we can choose where we're going to go and all that stuff. And as long as I get at least 100 of you interested, we can totally book it. I had at least 100 of you DMing me telling me you wanted to go. So of those of you who DMed me, want to go. <laughs> Go ahead and fill out the little survey. I also wanted you guys to know, because I feel like maybe some of you didn't understand, this is a trip we're all going on. So I'm hosting it, but I'm also going, and you guys would be going as well. So we would all book the same trip to the same place, and it would include your stay, activities, food, drinks, all that, all inclusive. I really think we're gonna have a fabulous time. So I really think you should fill out the survey so that we can get the ball rolling. Okay, enough about that. So something really interesting I've noticed about this process of not drinking anymore it's forced me to find other ways to decompress other than like pouring a glass of wine so I've gotten back into sketching more lately um, but yeah and thanks for watching today's vlog you guys I can't wait to continue uploading and I really appreciate your support I will talk to you on the next video bye Got a mysterious shade, but someone I'm not really into.